Extra Fun Illustrations Crayon Zebra. For this, you'll need crayons or something to color with, a pencil or something to draw with, an eraser, just in case you make a mistake. And lastly, a sheet of paper. You can use any color. I'm just using white today. Let's get started. First, let's draw our zebra. For this, we're just going to turn our paper around and we're gonna draw a big D. If you make a mistake, you can erase. like this. Then we're going to make the page to normal. And then this is the shape it should be. Then we're going to draw a line like this. And we're going to make a bridge. So we're going to make it connect just like this. And it should make this kind of flap shape. Once we've made that, we are going to connect it to our D by making a long curve and then a straight line with a small curve. Just like this is what your horse should look like. Then you're going to extend the line onto the horse's body and make a curved line just like this. She'll end up with this shape. Then we are going to add our legs. For our legs, we're going to make a line straight, then like this. Then we're going to repeat for the other side. Straight, sideways, straight, and then connect the line. Just like this, we're going to make our legs. We're gonna make four legs. So as you can see, I've made all four of my legs. And now I'm going to add the details. So for the details, we're going to make a kind of bow shape, the top, and then make a line from it, connecting all the way to our body, which is curved along with the shape of the zebra. Once you have that, we're gonna add little hoofs. So just like this, I'm gonna make a line in each of the feet. Now you have the hooves. And then we're going to turn it over just to make it easier and make a J. And then make another J that's smaller, right on top. Then we're gonna make lines just like this to make the zebras tail. Now we have its tail. Then we're going to add some of its face details. So for its face details we're going to make a line just like this and we're going to add a circle and we're going to add a smile so just like this. Then we're going to add its eyes. We're going to make a small dot for its eyes. Time to color the zebra. I have finished coloring my zebra. I know it looks a little bit pale, but you can add thicker and bigger stripes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Now, since this background looks a little bit boring, you can color the background as well.